Hi, my name is Raghunan Tirumalai. Um, my laboratory at CSIR CCMB studies the biology of an infectious bacterium called Mycobacterium tuberculosis or MTB. So MTB is one of the most deadly pathogens known to man since the advent of civilization. And it is estimated that this pathogen has led to the death of at least a billion people uh, since we've had recorded history. And the focus areas of our lab is one, to understand how this pathogen evades immune responses and hides from the human immune system. And second, what are the mechanisms it develops uh, to become resistant to known anti-tuberculosis drugs? During any bacterial infection, the host immune system tries to eliminate the infected cell by marking it for a programmed cell death, a process called apoptosis. This helps the host to clear out the bacterial burden from its system. As a strategy to escape the host immune system, MTB reprograms the mode of host cell death by inhibiting apoptosis and promoting necrosis, a form of cell death characterized by the loss of cell membrane integrity. This event helps MTB to spread infection to the neighboring healthy cells. My work in the lab is associated with exploring the role of novel MTB proteins which may regulate the process of infected cell death. I am using different approaches such as infecting host macrophages with virulent MTB strain followed by immunoprecipitation and mass spectrometry which will lead to identification of different proteins that control this process. Antibiotic resistance occurs when bacteria develop the ability to resist the action of antibiotics designed to kill them. By 2050, more than 10 million people will die each year because of the antibiotic resistant bacterial infections. When the TB bacterium resists killing by isoniazid and rifampicin, the first line anti TB drugs, it is termed as multi drug resistant TB. My work is to identify novel mechanisms of antibiotic resistance. To do this, I generate mutants by utilizing the transposon mutagenesis technique and test the mutant's ability to resist the action of anti-TB drugs. I work to identify genes that provide resistance against anti-TB drugs by employing a technique known as chromosome walking. Furthermore, my aim is to elucidate the mechanism of the gene product in providing resistance by applying various genetic approaches such as complementation assay, gene knockdown, and structural studies. Drug-resistant clinical isolates of MTB often show mutations that lead to upregulation of efflux protein that drives the drug out of the cell. We focus on transport as an adjunct target to the available repertoire of drugs by investigating the potential binding of antibiotic to efflux proteins of clinical significance. We also investigate the functional role of the members of the PEPPE family, which have been associated with resistance to a range of anti-TB drugs. These genes are exclusive to mycobacterium and were found to account for 7-10% to of the MTB genome coding potential, thereby highlighting their significance and a potential source of targets for the development of novel drugs, diagnostics and vaccines. My work focuses on investigating antibiotic binding to such a flux pump of clinical relevance. I am Shahini. I have completed my master's dissertation from this lab and currently I am working as a project-based student. I investigate factors that renders the bacterium susceptible to antibiotics by employing various methods such as replica plating and spot acid. On successful identification of these candidates, I aim to characterize them further and investigate their role in antibiotic susceptibility. These candidates could be future possible drug targets. CCMB is renowned for its pioneering research in life science and it provides great uh, technical infrastructure for research enthusiasts. Here I develop skills like uh, advanced laboratory techniques, uh, project management and uh, data analysis. The lab state-of-the-art facilities and hands-on experience will not only enhance my technical expertise but also position me well for future academic and professional pursuits. Through our research, we hope uh, to be able to identify new drug targets, uh, possibly find new diagnostic modalities and maybe identify uh, targets which we can use for vaccine development.